is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Sir. All right, so here's Chris Rock talking about bad cops. Now, it's a it's a funny sketch, right? But like a lot of comedy, there's some truth in the comedy, right? That's kind of because that's what comedians do. They they while they're making us laugh, they're a reality. And Chris Rock's discussion about bad cops is one that's interesting. I mean, here's the thing with the cops, though. I mean, being a cop's a hard job, man. It's a hard fucking job, man. I mean, honestly, I don't think they pay cops enough. I don't think they pay police enough. And you get what you pay for. (laughs) But here's the thing, man. Whenever the cops gun down an innocent black man, They always say the same thing. It's like, well, it's not most cops. It's just a few bad apples. It's just a few bad apples. Bad apple. That's a lovely name for murderer. It's like, how'd they get that one? Bad apple. That almost sounds nice. I mean, I've had a bad apple. It was tart. But it didn't choke me out. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I know it's hard being a cop. I know it's hard. I know that shit's dangerous. I know it is, okay? But some jobs can't have bad apples. Okay? Some jobs, everybody got to be good. Like pilots. You know? American Airlines can't be like, you know, most of our pilots like to land. <laughs> we just got a few bad apples that like to crash in the mountains. Please bear with us. All right. So, and, you know, he's making kind of light of it. But again, he's making all the sense in the world. And you might be right, Tremolio. This might be a thing of... You know what? They just hired a, a Juanito that worked out a little bit, shot a little steroids. He pumped himself up. He's kind of a little bit wacko, which, you know, and then he wants to become a cop to instill discipline. Anybody know a guy like that that became a cop? Huh? Some of you are laughing right now, aren't you? Come on. Admit it. Some of you are laughing right now because I can say it. You know a Cubanito that was a little bit crazy, did a little bit of steroids, got himself pumped up, and, oh, I want to be a cop. And you're like, oh, that guy's a cop. Uh, Come on. Come on. There's 86 people right now on on the chat board. I guarantee you three or four of them know exactly the dude I'm talking about. And when Chris Rock says you get what you pay for, he's right. He's right. And when Tremolio says they probably don't put you through a tough enough test to test your mental capabilities, right? Because there's some of you out there, think about this. All right. I want you to think about this. Think about the people. Some section of people, not a large portion, but in your lifetime, depending on how old you are, think about the people over your lifetime that chose to go into armed services. Okay? How many times was it the delinquent or delinquente that couldn't make it in life? Wasn't ever going to go to school. Wasn't really too good at keeping a job. Wasn't very responsible. I said, oh, got to go to the military to go get some discipline. That person was probably still undisciplined or crazy or racist or whatever. The military didn't really change them. Just kind of hid them. 
kind of like what the Catholic Church does with some of their priests that are molesting kids. They kind of hide them and put them in some place in some monastery somewhere where nobody knows. Only Roger Moore can get to them by scaling the side of a mountain. You know, that kind of thing. Come on. So this is what you get. And maybe that's what we got. That Maybe that's what's wrong with the police departments all over the world. Okay? Because, you know, when they're protesting in London and other places with George Floyd, you saw the, you saw the international soccer games with George Floyd, right? It wasn't only in our country. They were protesting in other countries for George Floyd. Why? Because black people are mistreated all over the world. So maybe Tremolio's right. Maybe they got to raise up the standard. You got to raise the pay. That's fine with me. As long as you get better human beings that are protecting the streets, I have no problem with that. But clearly, you have a bunch of cops that cannot handle the job. Okay? And Steve Poherence gave you a taste, and, and several others, the two that were fired in Atlanta. The, the, I, they haven't gotten that cop yet, but I, did you see the one cop that the one girl was on, uh, on the side, like right on the side of the street, and he pushed her violently right into the curb? Did you guys see that one? No reason to do that. If she's in your way, you can just put your arm and just cast her aside just a little. Just move her for a couple of inches for you to go by. That's all. Nothing wrong with that. No, no, no. He had to, like, grab her and push her violently. And she went right into that curb, right into the concrete of that curb. She was taken to the hospital. She had like some cut on her face or something like that from the from the curb, obviously. That that guy should be fired. That cop right there should be fired. And she wasn't black either, by the way. That was a white girl, actually. If I remember correctly, yes, I'm I'm actually a thousand percent sure it was a white girl. But if you don't have the the calm or the collective cool in pressure situations, then you can't be a cop. You can't be part of the FBI. You can't be in the military. You can't be a fireman. If you're going to panic in the middle of a burning building, you can't be a fireman. You can panic in the middle of a, a burning building. Bill can do that. I can panic. We can all run. Ah! We can do that. Firemen can't do that. EMT cannot do that. No, 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 no. That's not their job. Their job is to calmly and coolly get through all of that. And if they have to save a person, they save a person. And if they're risking their lives, they're risking their lives because that's what they signed up for. And they know it. They went in knowing that they were going to risk their lives. Just like all those 9-11 heroes, they went into that building. They kind of knew that they may not get out. But that's not the, their, their job is not to worry about the consequences. Their job is to try to save people regardless of the consequences. And if you're a police officer, your job is to serve and protect regardless of the environment. And if you got to get to point from point A to point B and there's a protester in your way, you don't violently push that protester. And if that protester is not actually harming you either, on top of all of that, gives you even more reasons not to violently push her. And I hope that that police departments all across the country are thoroughly going through every piece of video and watching how all of their officers behaved in a chaotic situation. Because 
If you want great training videos, these are it right here. Need some, uh, need some justice, folks. And we need the right people in place. And it starts all the way at the top, where Bunker Boy could not be found over the weekend. I was just going to say, did it bother you the lack of chime in from any of our people in Washington, D.C.? No, no, it's just... It's, not one of them. Nobody. There's no leadership there anyways for that stuff. I mean, but that's just... That, that's expected. 